Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we explored the fourth floor of the school, which just opened up to us, and we saw some things. There was an office, there were some classrooms, there was a data room that was locked, there was a headmaster's office that was also locked, and um, there was a music room. And we talked to Kyoko, and I found out that my choices don't matter. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not still mad about it, I'm, I let it go, but I'm just saying, that's dumb. Anyways. Uh, now we're going back to the dining hall, and, uh, we're gonna see if anyone else has anything interesting to say to us. Hello? After a few minutes... Hi. Ha hi. That's mm. all of us, except Yaki and Poco, but I didn't really expect them to show up. So, is this everyone? Is this, like, everyone? Well, then. Okay, let's all dis we'll discuss what we all discovered. Mm. Yeah, good idea. Alright. Uh... Okay, well, what about you first, darling? Yeah! Oh, the chem lab! That's right, I forgot the chem lab. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor, and it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. I already went there. We saw each other there. I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. Uh-oh, is there poison? We've already found out what people can do with drugs uh, in this, so I think we should keep an eye on that. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um... there was also um, a bunch of different points. Did I call it? I called it. I mean, that is what I, was, what I would expect to find in a chem lab, and that's why I was surprised that they got access to drugs somehow. Poison? Mm. They were all labeled clearly though, so it'd be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. And maybe we should guard it. Um... And we probably shouldn't tell Byaki or Toko about the poison, right? They can find huh? it themselves. What do you mean? Well... Oh, just in case... You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um... Just in case... Yeah, like, I think you're right. However, it's Biakia. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. Thank you, darling. That's exactly what I said. See, you and I, we get each other. We get each other. <laughs> More than you and Makoto get each other. Just say, let's put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open. Everyone watch out, don't be poisoned. That's absolutely the work of the mastermind. All right. What about you, Hiro? You were in the classroom. Hmm. I found a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and like the headmaster's room. Ah, the headmaster's room? That sounds exactly like the kind of place we find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But. Who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? There should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. Uh oh. Uh oh. Busted. What was that? Whoa. He's gonna be like, don't you knock down my door. No, please. Continue. Did you say I'm- Oh my god. I've seen this one. I've seen this. I've twice posted this or something. Did you say I've got the nicest spot on the block? The curviest kids in town? Is that what you said? <laughs> Hell no, I didn't. Hey. Come on. Then what did she say? Cause I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> uh oh. Unbelievable. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? Why did my voice your teacher had such weird. faith in you? That's and this is how you repay me? Sorry. With betrayal? Mm. Sorry. Very sorry. That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down! You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Probably a lot. Uh, um... No, I was just kidding. Please, like, don't get mad. I'm not mad! <laughs> you're totally mad, crying face. I love this. I love when people use emojis in, um, like, text like that. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having those thoughts... I have no choice but to add to the school regulations! Serious?
seriously? Too bad. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerk. Bye. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Cool. <sighs> is he like gone? Oh. Man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me for serious. Dude, if you just didn't say anything, we could have gone and broken down the door and then claimed that we didn't know about it. It wasn't what? a rule before now. But if you'd go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there must be something in there. There's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Kyoko's gonna think, wait, what if we just like lockpick the door? That's not technically breaking it down. All right, let's talk to Sakura. Who I called Sakuya last episode. I must have had half of a boyfriend on the brain because I recorded that special. Metal sheets have been tucked to all the windows on the fourth floor, none of them budged an inch. In other words, just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Um, yeah, probably. I mean, oh, wow, that wasn't a very long conversation. Um, Kyoko? She's probably still mad at us. She probably is, and you know what? It's not my fault. She's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? Yeah, gee, I wonder freaking why. I didn't want to upset her. What's wrong? She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. She's mad. She's mad. What's your deal? It's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Okay, first of all, why would you assume that? Ah, uh, this is bad. Hmm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? Hmm. I think so. For serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh -huh. Other than just the presence, my house burned to the ground. <laughs> wow, this guy has had a life. Someone do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? What are you going to say? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. I didn't ask. That's... No, I have something I'd like to report. Oh, we're going to tell them about the picture. That's right. So, you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another- Why doesn't anyone else find these pictures? Why is it just me? We need, like, a corroborating party with us at all times. Everyone needs to use the body system. Another picture, almost just like that one. Another one? Oh. Okay, I was looking at this during editing. What is Celeste doing to his eyes? It looks like she's going to, like, claw them out with her nails. Um, but this time the picture was of Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Huh? Huh? And they were all smiling. Except Celeste, she's really not smiling. She doesn't look that happy, but whatever. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. So the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that had Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka? What? Does that say Sakaya? That's a Sakaya. Has that been her name the whole time? Don't tell me if it was. It's not, right? <laughs> now I'm questioning everything I know about my life. Um, no, it's, it's Sayaka, okay. Just making sure. But how can that? Conspiracy. Monokuma must have faked it. No, he straight up told me he didn't. But if the picture is, Mikoto, just tell them that he straight up told you. That's such a cute picture. I love this picture. Then everyone who was in it... There would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Yeah. Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. Not yet, maybe, but... What? 
can't be. It's a fake. But Monica must said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then. Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people that have died? Oh shit. Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. <laughs> I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. Oh my god, she's gonna turn everyone against me now. This is 100% how I would play the game. Mad respect. Turn everyone against one person and then off them real quietly. No one will care. Um, I mean, what? Nothing. Th that's not. I don't like her being mean to me. She could be mean to everyone else, but not me. What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emo- I don't think this is her being emotional, dude. I don't understand why she's so angry. Dude, it's because you're not leveling with her. Hey, come on. Come on, guys. Stop fighting. All like your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's like no way Monokuma didn't take that picture. Of course. You know, they do have a point. We are just taking Monokuma's word at face value, but I don't think he's lying about this. I think there's just more to the picture than meets the eye. That's, I don't know. I don't really have any firm theories on it yet, other than that we may be dealing with some kind of zero escapee dimensional thing. But I don't know. I haven't firmed up my theories yet. Um, he's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Y you might be right, but still... Are you still so conflicted? Is this gonna be Byakuya? If this seems like a Byakuya thing to say. What? Babe, did I call that or what? I know my baby anywhere. It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakuya! Hi, I love you. I mean, what? I'm so glad you're still alive. You all have that same sunken look on your faces. You were also ugly before. You shouldn't let them sink any lower. Thanks, babe. Good to see you too. Hmm. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. I am going to use that in my life. No? Sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not a part of this. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are, and always will be, completely separate. So whatever is causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happened to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Please share! Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Babe, everything he said has been useful. You just don't know it. Hey. Byakia, what have you been up to? See, look, now she's gonna go team up with him because he's much better. <laughs> and no, I don't blame her. I mean, what? I don't mind telling you. Perhaps force. Oh. Okay, he means us as a group. I thought he was talking about just Kyoko. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? I'm sorry that I missed you in the bath. I mean, what? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Together. Mm. Ah, good idea. We can't all mm. go together. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath? Don't sound so excited. If Alter Ego really did tell him something... I was about, you know, I literally, before Byakuya came in, was about to say, has anyone checked on Alter Ego today? Because Alter Ego did say that the files would be done today, possibly. So, maybe this, that's what this is about? I wonder what it could have been. Is Toko already gonna be in here? Oh, nope, we are, we are going. Okay. Is everyone already in the bath? Do I need to go find anybody? Uh... It looks like everyone's probably already in the bath. Okay. Let's just head that way then. I don't think we need to worry about anything else. Ran into the step violently. Doesn't Monokuma wonder why we're all going in together? Like, we can't all go in the bath at the same- Hi, Toko! When I got to the dressing room- Oh, Toko's Toko again! I could finally give her that pen! I needed to wait until she wasn't genocide Jill! Hi, darling! How you doing? You okay? Toko is sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to he come here while Alter Ego had to say too? What's your problem? I, I already heard it with Master. 
<laughs> master. Oh, girl, are we gonna have competition again? Uh, I thought we said she was alone. <laughs> you don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way. We have to talk to Alter Ego. Well. Uh, no. I made Master a promise. Mm. Promise. <laughs> Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Did he? Huh? He's just gonna, like, leave. <laughs> and he's gonna go off and do his own thing now, because he's ditched her. He told her to wait there. What are you, his dog? <laughs> if what Master wants, I'd do anything he asks. <sighs> you just love being mistreated. Mm -hmm. Well, fine, if you really want me gone, by all means. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, girl! How you doing? Hey, guys! What's going on? <laughs> uh, we'd like you to move. Yes. Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. <laughs> First a mega masochist, and now a super sadist. It is kind of funny when you think about it. Darling. How is your face? I love you. Touch your tongue. Um, Togo, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. She is not Togo right now, don't call her that. What? You SOB! Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. How about that? Come on, Makoto, give her the old one two combo. One, drop to your knees. Two, beseech. Oh my god, why don't you do it? Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her. Oh, Makoto, you have no spine. And I said, please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> oh, I love her. Makoto, you are a wimp. Oh, I'm on fire. Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All oh, my pet up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. So even you realize it is abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's talk to everyone else now. Dang it, I would have I was just standing over there now. Hey, Kyoko. Nope. Still ignoring me. Well, I'm not surprised! I'd ignore you too! If I completely so leveled with you, and then you did not level with me, I would be in Kyoko's shoes 100%, would not talk to you. And actively try and turn everyone against you. Here's my main concern. Where? Where? Where was it? Did I miss it? It's gone. <laughs> yeah. What kind of relationship do Byakuya and Toko even have, anyway? Well, I think Byakuya needs a strong, independent woman, like myself. <laughs> Good job, Makoto! That was some top-tier begging! Shut up. You have anything else to say to me, my love? Uh -huh. I'll go to bed every night for the rest of my life thinking about what just happened. <laughs> well, maybe this means she won't kill me now. Yeah, at least she probably won't kill me now, because she likes me, I guess. Alright. Hi! Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakuya, but... I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Oh my god. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Oh my god, what are they gonna be? What are they gonna be? Okay. Correct. Just what I thought. Me too. I see. Finally. The time has come. Uh, um... I'm starting to get, like, kinda nervous. Alright. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands started to shake. Just a second. Move. Yeah, that's right. Kyoko gets to do it. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then. Again, Makoto, no spine, but that's fine, because I agree with you here. Kyoko gets to do it. Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important pact, important pact, important fact I discovered was that a certain plan has been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. 
That was the stated goal of the plan, but it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. Huh. What? Wait, hold on. That's then the reason we've been imprisoned here. It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No way. It was the school itself. <gasps> this doesn't make any sense. Like, why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Yeah, shut up. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. It seems the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. We've heard a little bit about this, like just that something happened. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Okay. What does that mean? Yeah, like what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Hope Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. What? I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. And what could this tragic event have possibly been? And if Flash Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer, and the answer we got was... Sorry. Sorry. I don't know. If that information was ever on the computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless, I'm sorry. No, you're not. And that's all he said. Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and then that's like it? Indeed. It would appear so disappointing. Wait. Oh, wait! No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. It's probably really important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? This is super important. Please spill. Spill that tea. Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? They're not gonna tell me now. Sorry. No, that I still don't know. But I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak Headmaster. Okay. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible or even likely that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster? The headmaster's here in the school? Wow, she looks surprised. Like, that's probably the most surprised okay. I've ever seen her. Then that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. For serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Girl, are you okay? Huh? Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter what the cost. So, um... Yoko, what's going on? You Girl, you, you okay? I... I can't explain why. I just... I know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what is going on with you? Girl, you gotta tell me! I'm worried! When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then... We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. Okay. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. 
I'm really sorry. <sighs> then it really is all over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... Um, well... It's kind of a different topic, but I, I was wondering about something. Um... I haven't seen Celeste, Yifumi, or Taka since yesterday. Ugh, I'm sorry! They did. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Oh, this music, man, it gets me. It's very sad. I really like it. But it's very sad. Um... I see. Certainly, I, I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Then, maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Oh, bye. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. Did, have we charged this thing at all? How has it retained battery? I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... But I feel kind of sorry for him. But... You feel sorry, but he's just like a computer program, right? Well... I, I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, like, it did, but that's what a computer program is, like, designed to do. You don't tell a computer, good job, every time you shut it down, do you? I do. Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Like, come on, it's just a program. You, you like, can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Oh god, we're gonna breach this topic? Huh? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Oh god, here we go! Are we gonna open this can of worms? Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's like, no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. Oh, that was- I didn't need to add a like there. I think, like, maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem like calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out! Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives a value to survival. So... So anyway... What? What? So anyway that, it's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from like, I don't remember where. It was pretty cool. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Same. Same. Do you really mean that? Hell yeah, I do. You can't just make those decisions. Wait. The story's gotten off track. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall there a little bit. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was the, like, Hope's Peak staff thinking? Why are they, like, making us kill each other? Mm. Altrigo said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Yeah. yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? I think you added that. It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything happening that you could, like, describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't, like, really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least... If nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to the school. What? What? Maybe, like, all the students here were, like, killed or something. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Would remember that. Could it be... 
then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that? I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe. But right now, there's only one path open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well. But even that's a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Uh, um... Oh, yeah, good idea. Yep. Then I. Oh, she's back. Uh. Huh. Aw, oh, girl. Huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean. <laughs> oh no, I I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> I'm not guarding it. <laughs> Biaki's gonna be so mad at me. Whew. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Um... Good call. Yeah, let's just leave that alone. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, ba -bum. I was gonna say, it's either Byakuya or Monokuma. There's only two people that weren't there. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. It's pounding Give with me angry. With anger. I was gonna say, he's only gonna let us have these mixed baths for so long. <laughs> You're not, like, still mad about the whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Oh, that little matter doesn't matter even a little. I like what you did there. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath. But that doesn't matter either. It's building. I feel it building. Now I'm really angry. He's really angry. My head's about to boil over with rage. Please! Don't get so angry! Here, let me help center your chakra! Poom, poom. Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? Be careful, he just chanted the incantation of devastation! Huh. No, it's just a saying. I like how he said fang for a fang instead of tooth for a tooth. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? Sakura might know. Oh, it's nice. Wow, he got back real fast to make that announcement, didn't he? <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Alright, let's go to bed. Correct. So, it's night time. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Mm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um... I, I like agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. Good night. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Are we gonna have, like, is it nighttime still? Yeah. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy, which had happened a year before. And apparently, the headmaster is the one behind it all. The mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried. But I still have to try and unravel them, bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long, and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Yep, you right. Oh, Monokuma Theater time! What are we adding today? I didn't even see what was added. Let's talk a bit about where I was at before I became a bear. 
at birth, I was at a total loss. Oh wait, was that what was added over there? No, I think that was there before. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out, it wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself. Plus someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think we could do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Okay. Yep. Wow. Interesting. Crazy. Crazy. The things that we... Things that we find out during these Monokuma theaters. Good morning, everyone! Good morning. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Alright, we're going to the dining hall. First things first, we need to head to the dining hall. And we will do that in the next episode. Wow, lots of information. Okay, I'm starting really slowly to put a theory together. I'll tell you what I got so far. Here's what I think. And it's, it's kind of Zero Escape inspired, so like, don't hate me. But what I think is that we actually got our letters and came to the school a year ago which was like why we have all those pictures of the past and then the tragedy happened i don't know what exactly the tragedy is yet haven't figured that out but the tragedy happened and the school everyone died except for us presumably we were all like in one class together and um the administration wiped our memories and put us asleep for a year and then kept us in here for some reason. That part I haven't figured out yet either. But that's my theory. It'll it'll grow as we continue on, I'm sure. But that's my working theory. We're not going to get confirmation of it next time, I'm sure. But we probably will have some free time. And I've been looking at the gifts I have in between episodes to try and plan who I'm going to hang out with. I have a couple ideas that I want to try out. So we'll do that in the next one. I'll see you then.